Hi everybody, it's Nana. We're going to be building a topiary today. Let's get right to it. First we have the uh, their ceramic vases and I got those at the Dollar Tree. We have the styrofoam balls. I got those at Walmart. This is a uh, spray paint for my uh, sticks that I got. This I had in my stash. It actually belongs to my son from his science project. <gasps> I had already uh, painted them. It was a quick spray paint. No big deal. You don't have to spray the bottom if it's going to not show. Of course, I have my trusty dusty wire cutters, some heavy jewels. I'll show you what we do with those later. Some uh, repurposed uh, styrofoam. I cut it to uh, fit the bottom of the uh, the ceramic pot and I'll show you why later of course you have to have the beautiful flowers and earlier you saw the green uh, moss we're only going to use the purple flowers this time not the peonies or the uh, little grapes and of course got to have the uh, glue gun because you know I have to burn myself a couple of times Here's that stick. I did spray paint that as well with this uh, Rust-Oleum mount. As I said, you don't have to uh, spray the bottom if it's not going to show. And I have those two plastic tops that I'm using to stabilize my stick or my dowel. Now, this is a pretty easy situation. I push that in so that it will sit into the uh, styrofoam and then of course I put the dowel on top of that to give it some extra height and I use those jewels around it with the uh, uh, hot glue to keep it there. It actually worked out really really well so I added a little extra glue to stabilize it and uh, You'd never know. So it's sitting on top of a plastic top to one of my face creams. And uh, I'm going to do it again. I glue the styrofoam in, push that little top of my eye cream into the uh, styrofoam, add some hot glue, stick the dowel up on that, and then uh, stabilize it with the jewels. And there you have it. Add a little bit of extra hot glue for a uh, good measure and that's not going anywhere. <laughs> Although you'll see in the end, I'm going to have to take it apart. The dowels are okay. To make everything easy, you make the hole first. Make that with a, sm a smaller dowel than the one you're going to use so that you have a hole and you don't have a hard time later on. As you know, Nana likes to go rogue. And I wanted to show you my first mistake. I thought I could start putting the green moss and the flowers on at the same time. And that worked fine and it may work fine with you, but I found that it destabilized my dowel. So I had to come up with a different uh, process. It was okay uh, getting the first, uh, uh, you know, the first ball ready. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Uh, I have a different technique as I go along though. So I'm going to show you what worked for me. Here it was a little bit of uh, the forest moss and then uh, a flower, a little bit of forest moss and a flower, but I'm going to change it up just a little, okay? Okay, so what I did was I wrapped the balls in the forest moss first. And I kind of uh, put a little bit of hot glue on, a little bit of the moss, a little hot glue, a little moss, and then I kind of rolled it to get it to form into a ball. Now, not all of it is going to stick, and that's perfectly fine because it's not really necessary. I just wanted to use it so that there wouldn't be any white holes. So as you see, I'm just getting it prepared to uh, accept the moss by zigzagging the glue as I put it on and then sticking the moss. And trust me, I got a couple of burns on my hands and please, please don't make the mistake I made. Uh, 
kind of use something else. I'm, I'm holding that little plastic bag. That's frozen vegetables because I have a little blister on my palm, but I was bound and determined to get this done. You know me, or if you followed me enough, when something goes wrong, boy, we're just going to soldier on and we did. So I'm patting it in really good, this time making sure that the glue has dried. Okay, we're patting it in pretty good and uh, I think I, I, I've got it where I wanted it and I started uh, doing it, uh, you know, uh, quick style. Take the roses off first and then I removed the center plastic piece on the, uh, there you see it, you, I'm taking that off because it gets in the way. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is gluing the leaves to the bottom of the rose and then gluing the rose onto the ball. So it's a process there, a little dollop, very small, carefully put the leaves on and you still have a little pointy part make a hole uh, so that the the uh, so that uh, you can get that rose to poke in there fill it with a round dollop of glue punch it in and then press it down so that the glue will hold there a dollop just before the leaf and then make a hole there you go make a little hole add a little bit of glue, punch it through, and then hold it down. And I or repeat this process again and again. So I'm not going to bore you with that. And uh, we'll catch up as I uh, go along. You'll see that there's some bald spots and you just keep putting in the moss uh, depending on where the bald spots show up. So here I'm already on the... Uh, I believe that's the last ball. You don't have to do the bottom of the ball because it's going to sit down inside the ceramic pot. So here we have the final uh, ball. This one is a, uh, I believe this one's a five inch and the other one is a six inch. They're not really uh, too different in size, but enough to, you know, where you can tell. So I'm going to do that whole process again of, of gluing um, the uh, leaf to the rose. And here I, I had a big white spot, so I glued some more moss on there. Again, the moss is there just to fill in the white. If you want, you can just fill in the white after you get the roses on. So it's important to see, you know, you don't have to do it this way. Do it the way that is uh, comfortable to you. For me, while I was putting the roses on, I sat the ball on the table as it would sit or uh, hang on the dowel so that I could watch how the roses went on and they were uniform rather than willy-nilly. <laughs> the first one I did, it was pretty willy-nilly and uh, I thought, no, I have to have a process. So uh, the first one's not going to look as good as the other three because I learned from my first mistake. So again, put the ball on the table, how it's going to sit on the dowel. You see? so that you can keep them straight as you're putting them on. Now it's important. I put glue on top of that styrofoam that's sitting at the bottom of the ceramic um, uh, uh, pot. And here I'm hot gluing those sticks that I, uh, that I uh, they came from my yard and I uh, spray painted them. It's to give it more of a natural look. I've seen some other topiaries and they just add those real sticks to give it that, um, you know, more natural look. So, you know, you got sticks in your, in your yard. This one I actually had since my son was in uh, like fourth grade. It's been sitting in my basement forever, but I thought, you know, uh, that might end up getting thrown away. So at least now I know and I can remember that it was our Thanksgiving tree and we had put all our uh, leaves that had what we were thankful for. So it was forgotten down in the basement and now it'll be forever on the topiary and I, I kind of like that.
Okay, so these are the finishing touches. Once the uh, real sticks are placed onto the dowel, we're going to put the larger of the two balls on the top. Really, it's simple. You just kind of uh, put it on there just till it goes in no more than an inch because you want to maintain that uh, you want to maintain where you can see the stick. You want to see the dowel to give it a, a real look, right? So anyway, just uh, fill in any holes that might be there before you finalize it. Get it in there about an inch and then stabilize it with some more hot glue. That's pretty much it. It really came out beautiful in the end. And I want to thank you for joining me again on this adventure, this, this little journey into crafting. I hope you enjoy the pictures. I hope you take it on. And of course, you know, I hope you bring color into your life. I hope that you enjoy this spring as it comes on. And uh, we'll have a little jump start on it okay so have a great day and uh, thanks again for coming along with me we'll see you next time bye now